Hello and welcome to Language Lada. As promised, we are back with a quiz on the poem, The Road Not Taken. In case you haven't seen our video on the analysis of the poem, then do watch that first before you take this quiz. The link for the same is given in the description box below. So coming back to the quiz, we've divided it into two parts. Part one covers questions based on reference to the context and part two looks at multiple choice questions. So we will start with reference to the context first. In the process, we'll also share some model answers with you to help you prepare for uh, the exams. Here is a small suggestion. After each question, pause the video for a few seconds and write down your answer. We will reveal our answers at the end of each stanza and then you can compare the two. Let's look at the questions now. Where is the speaker standing as he speaks these lines? Next, what does the phrase yellow wood refer to? Why was the traveller sorry? Find the opposite, that means word or phrase that means the opposite of, met at a point from the passage. Why can't he travel both the roads? Now let's look at the answers of these. Where is the speaker standing as he speaks these lines? The speaker is standing at a fork in the road which he comes across while travelling through a forest. You might have chosen a different set of words as long as they mean this or as long as uh, whatever your interpretation of the poem is, is backed by examples from the poem, it is acceptable. Next, what does the phrase yellow wood refer to? Answer, it refers to the forest in the season of autumn when the leaves change colours and look yellow, golden or orange. Next question. Why was the traveller sorry? The speaker or the traveller regretted or felt sorry about the fact that, being a solo traveller, he could not travel both the roads. Next question. Find the opposite of met at a point from the passage. And the answer is diverged. Why can't you travel both the roads? And the answer is, being a solo traveller, he could only travel one of the two roads. Now let's look at the second stanza. Let's look at the questions now. Which road does the speaker choose? Next question. Why does the other road look better than the first one? Next, what is the rhyme scheme of these lines? Look at the poem, look at the stanza again, look at the word or the sound with which each line ends and try and figure out the rhyme scheme. Next question. What does the speaker mean by is just as fair? Next, what does the phrase wanted wear refer to? What does the speaker realize while traveling on the other road? Try reading the last two lines of this stanza and see if you can figure out the answer from there. Let's see what the answers are. Which road does the speaker choose? Answer, 
the speaker chooses the second road when he says, I chose the other. Why does the other road look better than the first one when he says "Looks, it has the better claim? And the answer, the other road looks grassy and unexplored. Therefore, the speaker is tempted to take that road. What is the rhyme scheme of these lines? We've already discussed this at length in our uh, video uh, with the analysis of the poem. The answer is A, B, A, A, B. What does, what does the speaker mean by as just as fair? So here the, uh, the speaker tries to justify his choice of taking the other road. Perhaps he wants to suggest that his decision of taking the second road is as right as the first one. What does the phrase wanted where refer to? The speaker uses this phrase to describe the other road. The other road looks grassy and unexplored, therefore it looks fresh and is not worn out by the footsteps of the travellers. The last question for this stanza. What does the speaker realize while travelling on the other road? And let's see what the answer is. After travelling on the second road for some time, the speaker realizes that it is as worn out or travelled by as the first one. Next answer. What does the word both refer to in the first line? How does the two roads appear that morning? Next question. Why does the speaker leave the first road? Next. What is the speaker doubtful about? Check out the last two lines of this stanza again and see if you can figure out the answer. Now the answers. What does the word both refer to in the first line? It refers to the two roads that the speaker comes across in the forest. It refers to that fork in the road. Part B. How does the two roads appear that morning? How do they look that morning? How does he describe in his words? Both the roads appear similar in that morning. Uh, the speaker can see fallen leaves on the roads which haven't been crushed by the footsteps of the travellers on that particular morning. Part C. Why does the speaker leave the first road? He thinks he'll come back and take the first road some other time in the future. So he decides that he will come back or he in fact assumes that he will come back to the first road sometime down the line. D. What is the speaker doubtful about? The speaker doubts his coming back to this walk in the road and take the first one, the one that he has left. He realizes that one decision leads to another and it will take him so far in life that it would be difficult for him to come back. So he doubts that he will ever come back to the same point in the road and take the first one. Next stanza. Questions. What will the speaker tell with a sigh? Next question. What made the difference in the speaker's line? We discussed this point as well at length in the video on the analysis of the poem. What does the word road represent in the poem? A very important question.
Let's look at the answers now. What will the speaker tell with a sigh? He will tell people how he came across a fork in the road and he chose the one less travelled by. Perhaps he will talk about facing a difficult choice in life and how he made that choice. Part B. What made the difference in the speaker's life? So again, the decision of choosing the road that was unexplored, that is, less travelled by, made all the difference in his life. Part C. What does the word road represent in the poem? In this poem, the word road had be, has been used as a metaphor for all the difficult choices we face in life. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the quiz and could answer most of the questions. If you found this video useful, then do subscribe to our channel to get more updates and don't miss the second part of the quiz, which is multiple choice questions.